We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. Well, it didn't take me too long uh, to get some more cardboard. I've been rooting it out of various places and shops and whatever when I've seen it. Um, so that's this bed now with enough cardboard on. I've made sure they're all overlapped. That's very important. Stops the weeds coming up. Um, so all I have to do now is uh, first of all weight it down so it doesn't blow away and then start the process of... Um, putting all our mulch down material over it. Uh, I think I said last week we've got quite a lot in the open barn on the floor. There's about six, um, six inches worth all over the floor of the barn. There's this outbuilding here. It's all mulched down. It's where all the leaves and everything's just blown in the buildings over the years and just been allowed to mulch down. So... And then once that's on, then hopefully that will suppress the weeds. We did this the first year we were here. Um, we didn't quite have enough cardboard then to do all the beds, but we did notice a massive difference in the amount of weeds we were getting in the beds that we didn't have the cardboard down. Um, so, you know, it's well worth doing. And of course, if we repeat it next year, it just suppresses them even more and um, it just saves an awful lot of work in the long run so okay well i need some more cardboard so the search continues <laughs>
I'm just digging over this um, little vegetable, raised vegetable patch and I found two carrots, one each for dinner. But Maxie's got his eye on them. He keeps trying to get up here to get them. Good boy. <laughs> you menace. You're a menace. No. chippings in here lots and lots of them so I suspect over the years where they've done the sort of basic maintenance here uh, they've had a wood chipper in and chipped everything um, and, and dumped all the leaves in here and just gradually mulched down but it's great for the potager so and also these wood chips some of them are the bigger ones I'm picking up and um, they'll be good for kindling wood not that I'm particularly short of kindling wood, but uh, you know, might as well use it if we can. One more load will do it. Uh, that cardboard isn't going to go anywhere. It will be weighted down nicely. And then I'll just gradually build it up a little bit uh, with a few more loads over the next few days. Uh, we may supplement this with some compost, but unfortunately we didn't grow our own last year, um, as I've explained a few times last year. Uh, we may get back into that this year. But um, anyway, this bed is getting getting there now, nearly prepared. And so we'll start planting into little pots, planting seeds soon. And then early March, we'll probably put them out. Um, middle of March, that's what we did when we first arrived here. Um, beginning of March, we'd already planted them all up. And then as soon as we got here two years ago, we uh, we planted them up. And uh, it didn't take too long to get vegetables. Good. Oh, yeah. 
So this is a typical example, really, of um, two jobs on the go at any one time. So we need to clear this floor of this barn at some point. There's no urgency. There's no absolute need to do it, but there's no point having all this stuff here. Um, but we've got to clear all the wood, which is going to take quite some time. I mean, we've been burning wood now since, what, end of October, I suppose. And that pile doesn't look so it's gone down anywhere. And in fact, I gave half a van load to, um, to Andy and Vera, our friends, because they were just running short and they were struggling to get a supply of wood. So I chopped a load down and uh, put it all in the van for them and gave them that. So I've still got plenty here. Uh, but of course, all this mulched down material needs to go somewhere. I'm not going to take it all to the dechettery. So it goes on to the potter's chair. So one job leads to another. But... Uh, I don't think you'll be seeing a before and after of this uh, cleared barn <laughs> any day soon. <laughs> I think the after will take some time. OK, well, that was a pretty productive day. Um, but we're only, what, a few weeks away from having to get stuff in the ground. So yeah. we need to start planning now. Yeah, well, we'll get all the seeds out and see what the dates are. Yeah, planting and what we're missing etc yeah and then obviously have to buy some more seeds but i think we've still got quite a few left haven't yeah, we? We have. okay that's good so basically if i just quickly show everybody i've shown this before but we've got the two new beds in the far distance uh this bed in the middle uh the square bed and then these two beds here and then along the far wall. Yeah, we can go right the way down there. We can go all the way down the wall. Um, it's south facing that wall, so we need things growing up here that Don't like the, the sun. We did put tomatoes in there last year, but we were watering them two or three times a day and they were just wilting all the time. Yeah, so it's far I'm going to plant them along the back wall behind you Okay. instead. Um, so we we like our onions, mm. our leeks, and last time we grew red leeks, uh, the green leeks, yeah. white onions, red onions. Yeah. Uh, we grew them in this centre centre uh, bed last time. Yeah. So we're going to go for that. As same. Yeah, it's had a year's rest because we didn't do any last year. Okay, so we can put them in there. Uh, I think we'll have some tall stuff in this one to shade stuff behind it like runner beans or something yeah uh, we were quite successful with the sprouts as well so they maybe they could go in that one yeah we like our sprouts yeah sprouts aren't just for christmas <laughs> <laughs> we did um grow cornichons the first year that was quite good but they actually um i think they need to be grown up the wall they need something to grow up okay well maybe they could go along the back wall then yeah um so we need to get planting in pots yeah and i need to carry on preparing all this so i need to get this fenced in i need to do some weeding we need to um these beds have been allowed to just um grow, you know get overgrown but that's okay um so yeah um so there's a lot to do so i suppose the next thing to do is have a look at seeds and things and mm. decide what we're gonna put put in pots I look like the Michelin man today because I've got about six layers on because it is <laughs> freezing still. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's getting milder, so it will yeah. be okay. A bit drier as well. There's a nice blue sky now. It's been cloudy all morning, so... Right, so these are all our seeds. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, yeah, we did this last year and never ended up no. doing much to them. Um, Okay, well, from this point of potting them up, we've got, what, six, seven weeks before putting them in the ground? Mm, maybe. It's roughly that long, isn't it, it takes. So now's the time. So we need to get on to it. Yeah, so I've got my notepad and I'm going to do a list of when, what needs to be planted when. Yeah, okay, because some of it's March, some of it's April, some yeah. of it's June. Um, but obviously the... March, April stuff, we need to start getting them into pots mm. uh, from seed state at least. Um, so that's what we're going to do now, get that bit prepared. 
Um, I'd like to thank Michelle. And her dogs, don't forget the dogs. No. <laughs> and Mari from Australia. Good day. That's what they say. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> and someone else who wants to remain anonymous. And Cheryl. And Cheryl. Thank yes. you for buying us coffees. Thank you. And thank you for all of you uh, who subscribed last week. Uh, we got quite a large number of people subscribing. Yeah. And as usual, thanks to everybody who's been watching right from the beginning um, and so recently joined the us. The channel's growing slowly. It is. But we haven't been going a year yet, so <coughs> we're quite pleased. So That's we're right, we're very pleased. Um, 11 months, is it now? Nine and a half, yeah. 11, 10 and a half, 11 months. So very, very pleased. And thank you to all our patrons. We posted a Patreon video yesterday, so uh, I will put that into the main vlog uh, in a week or so. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, some exciting things coming up. Today. Yes. And yes. Rose's thumb's getting better. Yes, it's good, it's doing well, so. The nurse keeps coming to redress it, so it's, it's healing nicely. Yeah, so. So you'll be able to do more soon. Yes, <laughs> do what I can. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so um, we'll love you and leave you and we shall see you next time. I'm going to leave you to do this if you don't yeah. mind because I've got an arch to repair. Good. So I'm going to go and do that now. So we'll see you next time. We will. Have a good week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you.